I don't know how to, what, what just, should I say? Just slide in and say, <laughs> yeah, what Mo said. Just slide in and say, woo, 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 which translates to, what is up you guys? Welcome back to another oh video. <laughs> Today we're gonna be opening up this Goodwill mystery tote. That's perfect. I don't think we have to redo that again. What is up you guys? Today we are gonna open this Goodwill mystery tote that I showed you guys in the last video. I think we paid- Everyone's really excited about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I, I even said in the video, like it probably won't be that good. And probably we not. <laughs> probably like a hundred comments, people basically like begging us to open this on camera. So we're gonna go through it. This is a uh, mystery toy tote. We got a Goodwill, we paid $9.94 for it, which is, it kind of makes me think there's not gonna be anything great in here, but yeah. You never know. This is uh, 18 gallons of mystery. Let's get into it. Okay, should we just dump it out? No. Also, I don't really know a lot about toys. Do you know a lot about toys? No. I don't, so we're just gonna go through and I'm just gonna look for stuff that I think is cool. So if you yeah. guys see us like grab something in this tote that is like worth a lot of money that most people don't know about, definitely drop a comment on this video. Yes. Let, Let us know. know. I'm thinking it's gonna be like mostly bath toys and like, Dog toys. What makes you think it's gonna be back for? Well, well I see a that. rubber ducky right there. I do see so the rubber ducky. So one rubber ducky, and you immediately think it's well, all back toys. Well, that's just what I'm thinking. I don't know. Okay. Right. I don't so even far, know. So far. Ooh. Is that a Mr. Potato Head? It's. I think it's Potato Head now. But he oh, has all of his head. attachments inside. Look at here. Feet. Glasses. <laughs> yeah. Eyeballs. Are there eyeballs? Yeah. Gender neutral eyeballs. Eyeballs. Wow. Mm, he doesn't have ears. Oh no. Estimated value, uh, 12 cents? 12 cents. 12 cents. Next up we have, are these shower rings? Yeah, looks like it. Estimated value, eight cents. What in the world? Oh look, it's Fiona from Shrek. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, Funko. oh that's from- This that, is a Funko. Funko Pop, that, yeah. who is that? That's from, uh, is it from Mordecai and Rigby? The regular Ooh, show? I have no idea. Is that the girl from, I gotta, Ooh, I gotta- is this another Funko? Maybe? Is that the girl from Mordecai and Rigby show? Adventure, Adventure Time? Adventure Time? Come on, grab your friends. I think I think that's the one. I wouldn't know. But here's another Funko. This looks like a Stitch's sister or something. Oh, I yeah. Who is this? That's, that's his little girlfriend. Is it? Yeah. Is My it? Little Pony. I don't know. I don't see a date or anything. And her head hair is braided into her tail hair. So she better not headbang or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's true. She's gonna pull her but we have a Rawlings genuine leather baseball estimated value to the right person a hundred dollars hundred dollars calm it's a dog toy most what's the estimated value on that dog toy that i just gave most um a thousand dollars a thousand because... dog dollars yeah which uh a thousand dog dollars is know. probably like twelve thousand <laughs> stanley nickels which is roughly like one troop buck okay we have these little elephants that look like they're from like Sing, Sing or something? Yeah, they're, they're, they're McDonald's toys McDonald's from 2016. Toys. Here's a ball. I just did made, you made, it? <laughs> made that. I made it in. Oh man, I didn't even know there was a thing back there. Wow. This is a gross ball. Oh, this is the bottom to Mr. Potato Head. Yes. Where'd he go? Right there. Put his perfect. Put his butt in there. We have three. <laughs> we have three Fiona's. Princess Fiona's. I think we have a lot of like uh, McDonald's type toys in here. This is a Barbie from Burger King. For these. Dog toy, there you go, Moe's. Moe's is so spoiled right now. Pete. <laughs> look at it, oh, look, look, at it. look, it's rolling. <laughs> <laughs> it's still it going. rolled all the way up the driveway and he's still chasing it. Okay, we have a bunch of um, teeth, like these vampire teeth. vampire teeth for little kids. Lots of them. These are new sealed, so that's why I'm gonna do this. Hurrah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, like, Lego. There's so many little parts and pieces in these. We have a Marvel, a Bla I think it's, Bla I guess it's Black Panther, but. This Play-Doh is new. It's not rolled up and mixed together. That is pristine Play-Doh. Wow. <laughs> Here's the rubber ducky, bath toys. <laughs> <laughs> Beanie, we just struck it rich. Beanie Baby. Woo! This is probably, and it's missing, it's like loose threads on his hands and nose. So that could be considered an error. So oh, yeah. this is probably like ten or twelve thousand dollars. So probably. so far so good. Oh, a bat claw, Batman cuffs. Moana. Look at him. He's playing with it. Yes. Or bat cuffs. Oh, handcuffs. More teeth. Look at this Craftsman flashlight with no battery cover. The battery cover might be in here. If it is in here, that would be good. I feel like we need kind of like a junk pile and like a regular pile. We're just kind of piling it up. Transformer. 
Transformers could be good. This is a Little People. Little People Gorilla. Little oh. People could be pretty good. I'm gonna move the camera a little bit closer just so you guys could see. You can see everything that's inside this box. See a little bit better. Oh, this is a Walt Disney World Soarin'. Soarin'? Um, little toy thing. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. This looks like Jupiter? Jupiter. Yep. Okay, I think we have a few Missed little it. people things in here. We have a little firefighter. Firefighter, yeah. We have a chef, I think, maybe. Okay. Where's the other one? Um, yeah. little people. Where'd the gorilla go? Gorilla. gorilla. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to like. There's a cow. Them a little the cow's bit. a little people. That little yeah. people might be worth listing in a big lot. This play doh is not new, unfortunately. More little people. Here's a little farmer guy. Ooh, play doh. It's a whole kit. Whole kit. Look at wow. That. <laughs> this one's new. New and unused. So we'll keep the new Play-Doh. Oh, look. Oh, uh, uh, was it Lu Lucinda? Lu Lu Luisa. Luisa. Isabel She's and Luisa. Strong one. Oh, these are molds for Play-Doh. I was wondering what these are. Let's get a box. Wow, Josh gets the bin. I'm going to oh. More little people. Lots of little people stuff in here, actually. There's a horse. There's a little firefighter dog. I think there's like a couple of different sets. It looks like there's like a farm set and like a fire fire job like fire thing job going on. We got is this Doc Jack -Jack. McStuffins? Did you? Is that Doc McStuffins? I have no idea. Have Edna mode. Twenty twenty Marvel. Who is that? Um, I have no idea. Everybody's in Marvel now. There's a lot of. Who Scooby Doo? Velma. She's a bobblehead. LeJean Brames. This is a Beyblade thing. There's a lot of vampire teeth in here and a lot of Play-Doh accessories. Yes. Oh, well, here's, what's his name? Uh, Marvin the Martian. 2020. Yeah, okay, so this is here we go. Toy. This is a sealed Ooh. McDonald's Lego kit. Classic. That's cool. From... What's a Care Bear? Is it 1999? This is a sealed McDonald's Lego kit from 1999. This could actually be worth a good amount of money. Yeah. This is a Care Bear from 2003. So almost Care vintage. Care Bear, that, yeah. Yeah, 2003, that'll be vintage next year. That's that's in the good pile, for sure. We have sure. Madame Alexander Cinderella exclusively at McDonald's. And this is like, not like plastic, like a lot of the other McDonald's toys are. This is like a legit, like, doll feeling. Yeah. 2010. Yeah. It says. Oh, and her eyes do And her the eyes thing. move, yeah. And you lay her down. This is a squishy cow. Gateway. <laughs> it's a stress ball, I think. Oh, a stress ball from Gateway. <laughs> this is a uh, Dilophosaurus. Another Disney. Play-Doh tubes. Another Louisa. Ooh, it's, um, what's his name? Uh, Antonio. Antonio. Antonio Shape Shifts. No. Antonio gets his gift today. You're, you I'm should know. Ooh, it's a Tune Squad. Things. I don't know. Space Jam, New Legacy. What is this? Ghostbusters. It's like Extreme. a coin purse, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think cool. it's a coin purse. Thrown here. 1997. Really? Extreme Ghostbusters, huh. 1997. Hockey puck coin purse. Or dollar. Dollar box. I don't know what it's called. Birthday girl bear, the pin. We have the Hollywood Hotel. I'm telling you, we have a lot of those Disney yeah, rides. Yeah, that in could there. be a complete set right there. Okay. This is just. I'm trying to make piles over here, and you keep messing them up. I don't know what I'm doing. Good. Ooh, this might... looks like Monster High for sure. That, yeah, that looks like Monster High. What we got here? A little champagne bottle, but it's a stress thing. That's cool. I don't know. This is a Stegosaurus, right? Oh, these are cool. I'm pretty sure it's a Stegosaurus. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Pez dispenser, Darth Vader, Pez dispenser, made in Hungary. That might be good. I don't know. I, don't, I guess Pez dispensers are kind of like anything else if they're rare. Oh, it's a magic eight ball. Oh, here's another marble. Should people like this video and subscribe to the channel? Answer is unclear. Ask later. <laughs> it's obviously broken. A lot of balls in here. A lot of these like, cookie cutter Play-Doh type things in here. Oh, there's a nice car. We've got a Ford Mustang. Ooh, Ooh 1993. 
Is this wow. Catwoman or um, that's Catwoman? 1993 Catwoman. Yeah, 1993. That could be good. More of these Disney characters. I'm hoping I have like a little, a big set of these because I've got three so far. Lots of little dolls that I'm sure kind of go together, but I, we have so many things I don't know where. Ow. Where they go? Would that you? hurts. What? <laughs> There's another one. Dang it. Another beanie baby. We're in the profit, like thirty thousand dollars now. That's a one-eyed frog. Huh. That's weird. Is this supposed to be Anna? It looks like her, but I don't remember her wearing a crown like that. Mm -hmm. I think so. I think it's Anna. She also doesn't have pants on. I know, but they could be in here because here's a dress right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a little people polar bear to go with the fire department. Ladies' Choice Fitness Center. Wow, this is heavy. <laughs> That's sexist. I... Yeah. Let's give the women little that is little dumbbells made of foam to go with their yoga mats. Well, my, it's a it's a fitness center, so it's just a stress ball that comes from the fitness center. I don't know. I'm offended personally. Mutual of Omaha Panda Bear. Man, poodle. Ooh, here's an alligator. He can. These can both go with the dinosaurs. A lot of like McDonald's toys and stuff, and a lot of like doors open. Branded like close tabs. S C E and G. All states. I wonder if I can struggle with yeah. this. A lot of stress balls. Like here's a Roadrunner business class. I don't know what these are because they look like little people, but they're not. Um, they're just like plastic. That's a horse. You know, now that that Darth, Darth Vader, like made in Hungary, like that's pretty unusual. I'm going to look it up. Well, there's one of these listed for $75. What? But there's also another one listed for $4. Oh. <laughs> so, I let's let's go see solds. None. Oop, None I sold. Them. So, I think we should list this for $75. Okay, yeah. And just see what happens. More balls. Rapunzel. Almost to the bottom. It's like dragon tails or something. Dragon tails, dragon tails. I don't little think pink it ones. is. But... Riverbank Zoo. Cool. I don't th oh, this is a Hot Wheel. 2012 little surf van Hot Wheel. Not bad. Jasmine. More Mattel. Balls. This is Mattel 1982. Is it really? Did I say 1982? Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of junk on the front, but that's a Mattel car from 1982. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Might be worth something. The Mobile One, number 12. This is from 2000, technically vintage. Got like a whole set of these Marvel things. This is one of those necklaces you give your kids when they go trick-or-treating. you like, oh, the battery's dead, but it like flashes lights so they don't get run over. Hmm. Ooh, a protractor. Fiskers. Oh, it's one of those little games you like flick the... Flip the bean. Yeah. Oh, look at here. That's perfect for you. If only it was like 2014 mm -hmm. when like you couldn't find these anywhere and people were paying oh, like yeah. 30 bucks a piece. Here's everything else. Here we go. Oh, someone's missing a head. All right. So obviously most of this was junk, which is what I expected to happen, but we did get two Funko Pops, which yeah. these could be really good. They're not in the we box. We could at least get our money back. I, I think we can get our money back. Yep. Let's let's get the things that we're gonna bother with selling. So we got the two Funko Pops, the Legos, sealed Legos from McDonald's, 1998. We got the Ghostbusters money pouch from 1997. Haley got the Care Bear from 2002. Is that what it was? 2003 Care Bear. The Darth Vader Pez Dispenser with one listing for $75, one listing for $4, and none sold. That'll be interesting. We got the weird uh, doll thing. Madam Alexander Cinderella exclusively, exclusively at McDonald's from 2010. We got this uh, Matchbox. No. We got this Mattel uh, car from 1982. It looks like maybe like a, sh it looks kind of like a Shelby Mustang, but it's not. 
So I'll do some more research and figure out what this thing is, but that's probably worth listing. Um, maybe this Hot Wheels Surf Bus thing, we might list that. I have these too, these, all these little. Oh yeah, the little Disney, Disney characters. the whole family. Oh, the little people. All yes, the little, the little people, people. Stuff over here. that was good. And then this, this is Monster High. This should be, should be decent. Monster High should be good. So I mean, that's it. It was better than I thought it was gonna be because yeah. I thought it was gonna be back toys. So it, we spent $9.94 and I think, I think between all the, I think we should be able to get more than that just for all the little people stuff. Maybe, I don't know. I've heard they're good, but I've never actually sold them before. So I don't know what they're worth, but it seems yeah. like we could probably get close to there. We have a good many. We have these two. We can probably put them in two different lots because they're like, some of them are the animals and then some of them are like the fire. Oh yeah. Fire fires. Combine people. fire and animals. Oh, nice. Oh, they're all three different. So we got this stitch, which is like doing the hula. And we got this stitch doing the ukulele and this stitch doing uh, surfing. We got all three of those. Yeah. We could maybe pair these stitches with this um, Stitch Girl Funko Pop and sell this as a lot. So, uh, all things, all things considered. Will we make a lot of money from this? No, <laughs> not at all. But I didn't really buy it in having that in mind. Like, I wasn't like, ooh, we're going to make so much money on this mixed no, lot of kids' toys. No, I just thought it was going to be fun toys. to open yeah. a mystery box. Was it fun? Basically. Yeah, it was fun. I thought it was fun. What are we going to do with all this stuff? We could take it to Honduras. Last night we did a whatnot auction and we are donating 100% of the money from that auction to um, people in Honduras. Haley and I go to Honduras pretty much every year until COVID happened. Um, she's This will be her 10th year going. I'm not gonna go this year, but I've been three times. Uh, we go there and we build houses, give out food. Um, we have like medical clinics and things like that. Um, and we usually take like bags of stuff like this, Play-Doh and you know, toys and whatever for the kids to play with while their parents are at the medical clinic or while they're hanging out the house build to keep them out of, you know, harm's way. Uh, so I think most of this stuff will go to Honduras this year. Uh, and then a couple couple things we'll try to sell to make our money back. What do you guys think? Was this was this fun? Did you did you enjoy this? I'm sorry we didn't find anything cooler than that. But uh you know again that's kinda that's kinda what I expected. So I mean we're getting a ten dollar box versus, you know, paying like a thousand dollars for something and not yeah. getting your money back. It's only nine dollars. Honestly, so. just the tub alone is probably worth there like you six go. bucks. If you went to Target to buy this, it's probably like five or six bucks. No yeah. lid though. So Hey Mos, did you get a ball? Oh yeah. He had a ball. So I want to take you guys over here and show you our new photo setup for eBay listings. This is uh, this was a big piece of wood that was left over. He had the guy that built this house like put the gray wood on the wall over there, and he had two pieces left over. One of them we cut in half and used as the top uh, for our shipping station over there because those two shelves we used didn't have like a, a solid wood top. And then the other piece we turned. Sorry, I'm right here in your way. We turned into this. I cut it in half and did the big section up top and the smaller section down below. That's what it looks like all lit up. I'm super happy with this. We also put it on top of one of our standing desks. We have two of these that came from FlexiSpot so we can now stand and take pictures. And if we get tired, we can just adjust the height down and everything comes down and we can sit and take photos as well. And then if we want to stand back up again, we just push the up button and it goes back up. So I think it's gonna do for today's video. We've gotta start shipping out some of the whatnot orders and eBay orders that we sold yesterday. So we're gonna go ahead and sign off for it today. If you guys have enjoyed this video at all, definitely take a second and hit that like button for us down below. It's totally free and really helps us. Ugh, bit my lip. It's totally free and really helps us out a ton. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below as well. Our ultimate goal over the next 12 months is to pass the Home Depot in the number of YouTube subscribers. They're at like 468, 469, 169,000. Uh, we are currently at 305,000. So it's gonna be a long road ahead, uh, but with your help, we can definitely hit that. Mose, anything to add? Silence. Nothing. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're the best and we'll catch you on the next one. I think we should do videos where we vlog like this, the GoPro attached to like a really long tripod and the GoPro's on super view. Because if we just walk around the flea market like this, you guys could see everything. <laughs> like, hey, look at that thing over there. This is crazy. And it's so discreet. <laughs>